brothers and sisters, we continue testing these, this new system. Hopefully, you're listening to me better. Please leave a comment if you can't hear properly, and we'll try to fix it. So I just want to, we continue in, in these chapters of John. Today we have chapter 15, and it is all about the Holy Spirit giving testimony of the Father and the, and the Son. In other words, the Holy Spirit manifesting the Father and the Son to each one of us as He comes into our lives. Now I wanted to tie this up with yesterday's uh, homily and gospel because we said yesterday that to be able to obey properly the commandments of the Lord, we had to love first Jesus. And to be able to love first Jesus, we have to be able to see and know Him. This, this first word, to be able to see the Lord, is what Philip asked Jesus, shows the Father, and that will be enough. And uh, Jesus answers him, like, I've been with you so long, and you're asking me this. Don't you realize when you see me, you see the Father? This whole contemplative aspect of our life, I think, is one that is very important. And I think, where could we see Jesus? And there's multiple places where we can see Jesus. We can see him when we are doing adoration. We can see him when we are serving the poor. We can see him when we are worshiping our Father. We can see him in any good deed that we do. We can see him in multiple places. But of course, all of these, we could also be blinded and actually be doing them, serving the poor, even adoration, and being blinded to the presence of God. So I think it is very important to realize in this first realm, requesting and asking the presence of the Holy Spirit that we might be able to see these things as we do them, to see God in our daily life is one very first important thing. And the second one is know, see and know. To know God is, is a bit more of an intellectual process. I'm sure you know people you love your spouse, your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, you know them. You know when their birthday is, you know what they like, you know what they don't like, you know many things about them. And I wonder how much we know about Jesus. Uh, sometimes we have like a vague understanding of him and it's really, really important to know him, to study, to read good books. All those things will help to know him better. And as we see him and know him naturally, we will fall in love with him and follow his commandments. So let us ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten us and help us to be able to see God, to be able to know God, so that we might love and obey him.